Hello boys and girl. Today we're talking about one of my personal favorites, a weapon that's gorgeous, beautiful, tremendous, magnificent in its simplicity. I'm of course talking about the Kuva Karak. This weapon is as simple as it gets. It's a fully automatic primary rifle with a bit of punch through sprinkled in. It does primarily slash damage, but it still has a decent amount of impact and puncture, and it sports a 23% crit chance, 2.1 times crit multiplier, and a 31% status chance. Now, since it is a Kuva weapon, the only way to get it is to vanquish a lich that's wielding it. So get in them Grenier missions and start rotating larvelings. We actually have three versions of the Karak in the game. There's the Kuva Karak, the one we're talking about today. But we also have the Karak Wraith, which is somewhat worse. It doesn't have the base punch through, smaller magazine, worse crit and status. And while the damage looks better, it's more tilted towards impact. And this comparison also doesn't show the extra bonus you get on Kuva weapons. And then there is, of course, the standard Karak, which is much worse. But overall, it's actually not a bad beginner weapon. So let's see what we can do with the Kuva Karak, shall we? Oh, I love this gun so much. There's something about it, just a good old basic rifle. No gimmicks, no faffing around, just a good old rifle. I don't know what we're gonna do. The stats are pretty solid, so we can do a few things. We can try the mech special, we can try hunter munitions, we can faff around with the heat and stuff. So let's try a few things and see what we like the most. Finally, let's put an adapter on my baby, someone's messaging me. You guys keep telling me I should run Deadhead, and I'm kind of liking it for mech special setups. So, uh, again, I am Mr. Popular today, ooh la la. Let's get some galvanized stuff, chamber, aptitude, chamber, what are you doing? <laughs> let's also get scope, because we're already running Deadhead, so, you know, we're gonna be going for headshots anyway. A bit of crit damage, do we want to double down on crit chance? I think we do. 23%. Doesn't seem like a lot. Let's shimmy this over here and get high voltage and malignant force. Radiated reload. And we don't... Yeah, we don't actually have to go for heat because I have a heat-based Karak, so we can skip that. We don't get a ton of it, but that's fine. So we can just run crit delay, I guess. We could also run hunter munitions, but I think crit delay for better crit is going to be nicer. I trust the Karak to handle steel path. Oh, oh, that is... That is tremendous! My dudes and dudettes. Hmm, you'll love to see it. That's so nice. Let's see what the ramp up is like. It shouldn't be too bad with Deadhead. Like, we only really need to get one kill. That wasn't too bad. Yep, and we're going! Lovely. Yeah, you guys are right about Deadhead. I don't know why I was so hesitant to use it, but especially for mech specials, it's, it works so well. You guys were right. With that said, though, I still like the reload speed from Merciless. Sometimes. Oh, yes. Get it? Oh, ho, ho. Nice. It's just so... It feels so good, and it it's pretty universal as well. It works against the Grenier units, works against the Corpus units, works well against the Infested units. Good stuff. Good stuff. I do want to try a few more things with the Kuva Karak, but uh, I think this will be my go-to build. Mm -hmm. Hello, Angst. Wanna get some? Hmm? Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Yeah, Max Special is tremendous against Acolytes. It's even better when you have cold damage because you can slow it down and headshot it easier. But even with heat. Very nice. So, yes, I love this very much, but I do want to try Hunter Munitions. I was already doing that here, apparently, so let's take these out and let's do it better. And Rhyme Rounds, that's pretty much it. Nothing too spectacular, and I think I'm gonna stick with Deadhead. I'm gonna try it out. Mmm, ooh, ooh, big damage, all right. All right, we do have that heat getting in the way. It would actually be better to have a code-based Karak for this, so we could save a mod slot and then run a Bane mod. That would be ridiculous. But even without the pain mod, the damage is uh, through the roof. Let's take Harold for a walk. Let's also uh, reformat the Exilus because I want to put in Vigilante supplies. So let's do that. Vi oh, right. Kuva weapon. We need to max it out. <laughs> it resets the capacity. This always catches me off guard because I'm a legendary mastery, so when I form something, I don't lose any capacity normally. Be blessed, my children. So I'm on Hydron, right? Because I like Hydron. And not only did someone recognize me, they're actually trying out one of the builds from this series. That's awesome. Here we go. Nicely done. Now we can put Vital Sense back onto this build. 
And we can put Vigilante Supplies onto the mech special. Pretty good ramp up. Oh, some red crits as well. There we go. Vigilante Supplies kicking in. If you're running a Sentinel, by the way, and not a Hound, something that can actually use a Sentinel weapon or can equip Vigilante mods, run all three of them because they transfer over to your primary. You can get an absolute truck ton of extra crit that way. It's what I used to do before I got Harold for priming. Eximus units are no biggie either, which is always nice to see. Also, since we're running Vigilante supplies, you're basically never going to run out of ammo with this thing. Oh, dearie me, look who it is. It's Malice. Let me tell you, I am loving this Acolyte DPS. Whew, spicy. Next on the menu, we have Corpus with the 100 munitions set up. This is going to be interesting because I'm worried the ramp up is going to be us. Yeah. Ugh. It's good once it gets going, but getting it going. Mmm. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. I think I'm still going to stick to merciless 100 munitions setups. Yeah, that's, um. Yeah, no. No. Bloody ambulance. Oh, just one moment, please. I need to get a few kills violence so that I can present you with some violence. Yeah, that's to be expected. Damage over time builds, generally not the best for Acolytes. I wouldn't say it's bad. If you have a code-based one and you have a faction mode on there as well, it's going to be pretty good. It has some solid scaling, but I, for the kind of stuff that I do, the mech special just works better. So, in the end, we ended up with two different builds for the Kuva Karak. We have the mech special where we run Galvanized Chimber for multi-shot, Galvanized Scope for crit chance, Vital Sense for crit damage, Galvanized Aptitude for status chance and condition overload, crit delay for even more crit chance, and then Radiated Reload for radiation, and Malignant Force with high voltage for corrosive. We also have Vigilante Supplies in the Exilus for the set bonus, not necessarily for the mutation, and we're running Primary Deadhead. Now this works because I have a heat-based Karak, so I don't need to necessarily add heat damage, though if I were to get the Kuva Karak again, I would actually go for a code-based Karak, which would also work better with a second build. This is a pretty straightforward Hunter Munitions Vital setup, but we have Galvanized Chamber for multi-shot, Galvanized Scope for crit chance, Hunter Munitions for slash procs, Critical Delay for even more crit chance, Vital Sense for crit damage, prime rounds and malignant force for vital and then galvanize aptitude for status chance and condition overload. However, if you have a code based Karak, you can actually take rhyme rounds out and replace it with a faction mod. This will give you a tremendous amount of extra damage. And we took it all off once again with Vigilante Supplies and some Arcane. I'm not the biggest fan of Deadhead on damage over time builds because it can be a bit difficult to stack it up, so you can run something else if you want to. I absolutely love the Kuva Karak, so of course I'm gonna tell you to give it a shot because it's just a fun weapon. It's simple, but it's fun. And the damage isn't too shabby either. You can absolutely plow through Steel Path with this. But anyway, I think I've been blabbering for long enough, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.